Hi, I'm Jeff Buchak from Paradigm Auto Restoration, Spark Hill, New York, and this is a 1968 Dodge Cornet 500. In the late 60s, Chrysler was putting out some incredible products. Two doors, four doors, Hemis, small blocks, I love them all. My favorite car was the Cornette, especially the 68 Cornette. There was just something about it, the body lines, the interior, it was just a downright sexy car. And it had power. We had a customer from North Jersey approach us, and it's that typical story that everybody wished they found, that car sitting in an old lady's garage, sitting for 20 plus years. This guy's a landscaper, open up the door, it was sitting there. He wound up purchasing it from her. Through and through, disassembled the entire vehicle, stripped it down to bare metal, hand filed the entire body, hundreds of hours of blocking, base coat, clear coat, wet sand polish until you find that flawless show car finish. One thing that we left untouched in this car was the entire interior pretty much. From the headliner, to the carpet, to the seats, the dashboard was gorgeous, no cracks. It really wasn't uh, weather beaten at all from the UV rays. And I think there's really something to say for that because it goes to show you that the person prior uh, definitely took care of the vehicle and they kept it in the garage. And it being a 48,000 original mile car, it really doesn't have too much wear and tear. And even though the exterior is very close to being flawless, um, the interior has some flaws but it's original you know it's only original once as far as I'm concerned and you get that smell and those muscle car guys that know what I'm talking about original interior smell from the 60s and 70s you can't replace that vinyl top is original wound up keeping it no bubbles no tears no rips it's the most pristine vinyl top I've ever seen on a vehicle from the 60s we took extreme care in not damaging it during the whole restoration process all the bright work came off the vehicle, wound up polishing it, straightening it, taking all the dings and dents out. Wound up adding the tail stripe, 68 style. It has Cornet 500 on the quarter panels. Trying to figure out how to line it up perfectly between left and right side, between the letters, and it was hours and hours. It was like 20 hours worth of masking we had. Wound up running it inside the trunk jam just because if you're looking down between the quarter and the trunk, it looks like it's consistent and flows in. Base coat, clear coat, you run your hand across it, you can't even feel the paint edge. Looking down the deck lid to the other quarter, it's straight as an arrow. Pretty much all the body panels are original on this vehicle. We wound up doing a half quarter on the right side just so we didn't have to disturb the vinyl top. Metal finish the inside, you run your hand, take pictures, look. It is factory as far as I'm concerned. Original sound deadening, seam sealer, you lift up the trunk mat, the trunk drop down, it's done. It's flawless. It has the original bias ply tire from 68, never used, still mounted, still has the same air as far as I'm concerned from 1968. Painted the underside of the deck lid, grease pencil marking, replicated the jacking instructions. Trunk closes beautifully, aligns beautifully. The car was originally purchased in Bergen Motors from Bergenfield, New Jersey, and when we received the car from the original owner, it still had the decal on the rear, and that was something that I had to do. It's part of the car, so we had it reproduced. We restored this car, keeping in mind that it was a very original car, but the gentleman who wound up purchasing it definitely wanted to do a few upgrades that were totally acceptable as far as I'm concerned. BF Goodrich Radial TA tires did 50 series in the rear, 70 series up front. We replaced the steel wheels with a Magnum 500 style. It's got an 8 and 3 quarter rear end, 373 gears, 31 spline axles, has police suspension front and back, rear drums, front disc brakes, heavier leaf springs. The car is a 440 big block, board 30 over. It's got aluminum Edelbrock heads, 202 intake valves. It's got 160 pound valve springs. Wound up doing a Mopar electronic ignition setup, got rid of the points and dwell. A little bit of a high rise manifold, Holly 750. It's got factory air conditioning, it's got power steering, it's a dual belt setup, uh, it's got a power master 170 amp alternator, original red top Mopar style battery, 
like I said, keeping in mind that it's an original stock looking car, we definitely had to do some upgrades to make it more driver friendly. This was the absolute hardest project we've ever done so far because of the owner. He is the best guy I could ever ask for a customer. He's super understanding, but also super meticulous at the same time. And that's what made it near impossible to get this car completed. If I can satisfy this guy, then I'm pretty much convinced I can satisfy anybody on this earth because I have never met somebody that cares so much about a vehicle and that has his heart and soul in everything. He looks at it, he appreciates the workmanship and the hours that go in. I mean, just to restore this vehicle is a thousand hours, but you know what? When you can step back and look at a vehicle and say, you know, we did that and see the customer so happy that he's almost in tears, that's success.